about her hair is that when she blow dries it or air dries it, it kind of has a lot of kind of poof to it a little bit. It's not very sleek um, and she has very, very thick hair. And so it takes her, what, a good hour or so to straighten it? Yeah, usually 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. It takes almost an hour to straighten this. And then if she wants to add some curl or flip it under, it's going to take an additional 10 to 15 minutes. So it's a really big chunk of time. So I'm going to show you how quickly we can get this all done. So just as before, it's always best to section off a piece of hair. And again, sorry about the noise in the background. Um, I'm sure she'll be walking in and out of the shot. That's one of our dogs, Susie, and the other, Kelly's, laying around. So, all right, so we got a piece of hair. And for her hair, I'm going to use, even though it's a little bit shorter, I'm going to use the bigger barrel, the regular InStyler. So again, we're going to take it here, straighten it, and then we're going to curl her hair under today. And there you go. And now notice I'm going a little bit slower than I did with mom's hair, and that's because she has very thick hair. See how perfect that is? Shiny straight with a curl. So we've done most of the back now. As you can see, it's very straight. It's still, obviously, she has a lot of hair, so it has a lot of volume. But it's definitely sleek and straight with a nice curl underneath. You can see how pretty that is. See all her highlights. And again, now we're going to move to the top and we're going to start building volume up here again, just the same way as we did with my mom's hair. And then I'm going to show you how to do the bangs, because I know a lot of you guys have bangs and you were wondering how it worked on there. So we'll just keep straightening away. And it's been about, what, four and a half minutes or so? Yeah, probably less than that. For the life of my iPhone, we've been showing it in sections, but it's only been about four minutes. And it's very quick and easy. And remember, if you have coarse hair, to just run it a little bit slower. Perfect. Look at how nice that curls under right there. You like how it looks so far? No, I really like it. Usually when I try to do this myself, it never looks good. It's really pretty. And then right by her face right here, you just take this whole chunk of hair. We curl it all in by her face. You see how nice that looks? We're starting to get the face framing layers up here. Perfect. See how pretty those look? working on the back and the sides and then we'll come back with the top and the bangs to finish it up. What's really nice about this too is whenever I straighten my hair I always get a colic on my right side. And right here is a colic? Yeah, what will ha happen is it'll flip in the opposite direction so I'm surprised it's this tame. <laughs> and I haven't even done this side yet so what she said is usually she gets a colic right over here that causes her hair to flip up and out so I really have only done one pass over right here so again, I'm just going to take the installer and I'm going to go more forward because I want it to be very face framing. So we're going to pull it down and curl. And as you can see, it all flips up and towards her face, so there's no collar there anymore. Okay, so we've done the back and we've done the top and the sides. And as you can see in the mirror, she got a haircut where she has all these nice face framing layers. So now they're all curled right where they're supposed to be. And the very last step we have to do is the bangs. And Veronica says that sometimes her bangs throughout the day, especially in the humidity, start to kind of go like this and kind of get curly and crazy like we can make them right now. So all you have to do for that is the InStyler. We're just going to use it and we're not going to curl it under. So we're going to just grab a piece right here, and again, we're going to give her a little bit of volume, and so 
get a curl in it, we're just going to pull it straight. And see how nicely that lays right there? Really easy to use, very simple. You give it nice volume without having to tease it. Except I brought some of your layers forward. And just pull it straight down. It always have a nice edge to it because of the roundness of that. So then we just brush it all out. I'll move it. Yeah, as you can see how nice that curls. Like she said, she had a colic right here and that caused her hair to flip this way. As you can see, it's staying very nice. And then you just brush the bangs forward. Let that fall. And if you take a look at the back, you see how nice and straight that all is over here. Still stays curled under. See all of her layers and shine. And then the front. And there you go. It took us about a good seven minutes, which is way less than the hour plus it usually took. And she looks great. So thank you guys. And please continue to follow me on my site, SamanthaBush.com, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Please, any questions you have or any videos you'd like to see, just let me know. Thank you.